The Turtle Pillow Plus. Is it the best travel pillow of 2019? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Arnie Jacobson and here we talk travel and all things related to travel as well as camera gear. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. And by the way, make sure that you check the show notes down in the description for any further information. It seems that uh, I've become known for doing travel pillow reviews. And today we have the Turtle Plus from Turtle Pillows. This just might be one of the most innovative travel pillows out today. It was released a little while ago, and I did a review of its uh, predecessor last year, and I liked it, although I had some problems, but I didn't go with it. I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try. Now, as I've mentioned, this is by Turtle. TRTL, and it offers some really uh, nice innovations that I think will make our travels, particularly on the plane or wherever you like, to, would like to catch some, you know, 40 Z's or 40 winks or whatever. Um, I think this is going to help us do that. Let's take a look and kind of break it down and what this is all about. The fabric is a combination of nylon, rayon, and spandex. And when you open it up, the interior is a, well, I don't know, a fleecy material of some kind. I imagine it's, it's a man-made kind of thing. Feels very comfortable in the hand. The fabric is soft. It's stretchy. It's breathable, which is one of the things that I um, didn't like about the previous iteration of this. You'll notice that right here in the middle, it has a, ble uh, it has a breathable uh, section sewn in that's of a mesh type of quality. The previous iteration, the original, this was all fleece. This was all fleece, and it felt like it would get a little bit warm, and that's kind of why I didn't go with it. So, nylon, spandex, rayon, really breathable insert, really, really feels like it's gonna be comfortable. As you can see, it's very compact. Just pull on this to release it from the Velcro and open it up. It's just that simple. The support section actually has a plastic um, frame inside that allows you that that's what actually gives you the support and you can see that it has a little bit of spring a little bit of give to it and uh, along with the breathability the thing that i'm most excited about is the ability to um, expand the neck brace here. You just push in and move this and it, it allows you to go. It, it may not show up because it's pretty gradual. Um, just push in the, the toggle, turn it, and right now I'm making it go smaller the other direction and it expands out quite large. Obviously there are two of them so you'll want to do it on both sides. I can see, though, sometimes maybe not wanting to do that. Maybe you want to have it uh, unbalanced, like, you know, one side larger than the other. That'll be up to you, I would, I would guess. So that is very, very cool for myself because I'm so very tall and I have a, a, a long neck. I plan to have that opened up as much as I, as much as I can. Now, I would suggest, and this is what I'm doing right now, obviously, what I would suggest is that you play around with it at home before you take it on a flight. I mean, there would be, I, I just can't imagine that how, what a pain that would be, <laughs> at least in my opinion, to fiddle around with it for the first time. I think it would be wise to take a couple of moments at home, play around with it, adjust it the way you want it to be, because, you know, you, there's multiple 
um, positions that you can put it in here. It doesn't have to be all the way uh, down or all the way up. You can put it somewhere in between. So give yourself some time to fine tune it. So I'm going to put it all the way back down to its shortest. This customizability is the thing that, as I mentioned, excites me the most. Now they, it comes in two colors. It comes in this very attractive blue and there is alternatively a very attractive pink. That's about it. That's all the colors you get. I believe I mentioned already, but I'll say it again just in case I didn't, is that you can remove this cover from the plastic frame so that you can launder it. I think that's awesome so that it can keep it fresh. Comes in this nice comes in this nice little bag, so to use it, obviously, you're gonna to want to take it out of the bag. That seems kind of natural, doesn't it? And pull on the Velcro there, open it up. Now you're gonna, you know, kind of want to fiddle around, as I said before, figure out which way is the best way to, to do this. Probably with two hands. And tuck it in under your chin. And snug it up. You've got plenty of Velcro for somebody who's smaller. You're going to have a lot of this left over. Now, I don't have an airplane seat, obviously, but I do have my high back office chair, which really resembles a, an aircraft seat, except, you know, it's a little bit wider. But anyway, I can already tell that this is going to work really well. So many of them. Again, because I've got a long neck, because I'm tall, so many of them, my head immediately slumps way down. So this would work for anybody. Wow. That's pretty nice. I like this. This is unusual <laughs> to find one that I really am comfortable with. Now, obviously, you don't have to put it in front. My head tends to drop forward, so I would probably wear it like this the better part of the time. If you're in a middle seat, obviously this would work really, really well. If you're, you know, on the aisle or the window, you might want to put it to one side. I can see that. Wow, that is so supportive. And I don't even have it extended up yet. So I could even extend it more for more comfort on the sides. I can see that working really well. And as I mentioned, you know, you don't have to raise both and lower both sides. You could raise one and lower the other, kind of make it in an angle, which I think might even be a little bit more comfortable to do it that way. As I mentioned, it does have this, this, uh, insert in there that's of a mesh kind of material so that's going to make it a lot lot more comfortable in my opinion than the fleece that um, the original one is made out of wow this is going to be great i just can't wait to give this a, 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 a try in the plane for a long time this is really awesome don't know if it looks comfortable to you but it feels comfortable to me. Now, just in case my instructions here haven't been clear enough on how to do these toggles, there are instructions here on how to go about doing it. And there are instructions here on how to wrap it around your neck so they don't leave you hanging. They don't say, hey, let's go watch Arnie's video so we can learn how to do it. It has stickers right on here. There are a lot of things to like about this travel pillow. First, it's compact. It'll easily pack inside your bag if that's what you want to do, or put it inside this water-resistant bag. has a drawstring on it. Also has a carabiner, so you can clip it to the outside of your 
day pack or, or whatever, or even just regular luggage, uh, if you do a roller board. So that's, what, you know, nice and compact, super. It's lightweight. You won't notice this thing. It won't be adding a lot of weight to your baggage. As I mentioned, you can wash this, take it off the frame and wash it. Now, obviously, in my opinion, the major benefit is the toggles system. So you can expand it, contract it, customize it um, within reason, of course, uh, to you. And that is the thing that really drew me to want to try this out. Now, pair that with a good set of wireless noise canceling uh, headphones like these from Dowtronics. By the way, I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner, the card up there so you can um, watch the review that I did on these guys. Combine these two and you should be good to go. You should be golden for having a nice snooze on your flight. Now, like anything, there are probably going to be some cons for some people. They can't make things to fit everybody, I guess, although they're trying. This might not work if you're small, short, petite, whatever term you want to use. Others of you might find that wrapping this uh, around your neck, might, you might feel a little bit claustrophobic. You might not like that. Again, I can't address that. You're just going to have to give it a try and see how it works for you. And the last con, if you will, is the price. It's a little on the steep side. It's on Amazon. <laughs> on Amazon, it's $59.95. And I realize that is not um, in everybody's budget. If that's the case, you might want to look at the original turtle, the one that's of uh, where the cloth is fleece, and uh, check that out. Now, I will have uh, a card up here in the upper right corner, and you can check that out from my review from about a year ago of the turtle as well as, I believe, was four other um, travel pillows that uh, I thought were reasonably good. In short, I think that Turtle has come up with, oh, by the way, that's T-R-T-L. I think that Turtle has come up with a real winner here. It's lightweight, it's customizable, it's breathable, I mean, what else could you, you know, what more could you ask for? I have a question for you. Do you have a travel pillow that you particularly like? Would appreciate it if you'd leave a comment down below directing me to that, because I'm always looking for the next best thing on the markets. You know, because the, obviously they can, all, can always be improved. So leave a comment down below if you've got a recommendation that you think we should try out and share with everybody. Hey, if you like this kind of content, leave a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and then click that bell so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.